Hello everybody, it's Michael. I hope you guys are doing well. This is another episode of From My House to Your House and uh, it's just a time for us to interact with you guys and just reach out and uh, feel a bit more like family again. So uh, I just wanted to share something with you that's on my heart at the moment um, around all of this time of Corona and where we are at home kind of locked away and it has to do with the presence of God. So I hope this encourages you um, and that uh, you're led into an encounter with Him that far outweighs any of your expectations. So the beautiful thing about the presence of God is that it was available across both Old and New Testaments and we're able to track the beauty of what it means to have the presence of God with us on a daily basis. And Moses was a great example in all of this. What he used to do was he would, uh, um, as he led the Israelites out, he would go and set up a tent outside of the camp where all the Israelites were while they were walking through the desert. And in this tent, he called it the tent of meeting, and he would go um, to this tent and encounter the presence of God, and God would speak. It talks about how a pillar of a cloud um, would descend at that tent while he was meeting, and it says that Moses would talk to God like a friend talks to a friend face to face. There's some details on that on Exodus in Exodus 33. Um, and it also talks about Joshua, who was obviously Moses' aide, and uh, when Moses would leave the tent, Joshua would stay in the tent of meeting where the presence of the Lord was, and would just mark there. And you just see this theme developing of the presence of God. And then even in Psalm 27 verse 4, it's my favorite psalm in the Bible, David talks about it. And we know David obviously went from being a shepherd in, a, um, uh, in the fields, uh, basically just the last person that even his dad would think of to become a king, to the king of Israel. And um, one of the beautiful things about his, about his life is that he was a man after God's own heart. And he wrote in Psalm 27 verse 4, he says, One thing I ask and one thing I seek, that I might dwell in the house of the Lord in his presence forever and that I may meditate um, uh, in his temple and inquire of the Lord and his beauty. And you see this beautiful picture of the presence of God um, uh, coming through across Old Testament into New Testament with Jesus who would carry the presence of God with him and doing only what he saw the Father doing. And there's this beautiful image of intimacy with the Spirit being created. And it creates this challenge for us is that, guys, and this is my challenge to you, while you're in corona, in this period of coronavirus and isolation and, and lockdown, I want to encourage you, where is your tent of meeting with the Lord? Where are you setting aside time? I know it's difficult to set, a, set up your tent outside of camp because you can't because we're stuck in our houses at the moment. But we can all create a tent of meeting. For me, it's in my room. This isn't my room. This is my brother's. My dad's working in our room. But um, uh, for me, it's my desk in my room where I close the door and it becomes my tent of meeting where I speak to the Lord face to face and I try and encounter his presence and I try to carry that wherever I go. And I want to encourage you over the next few um, days, why don't you make a practice of practicing the presence of God, trying to host his glory and host his presence. He wants to rest on you. And when you leave that tent of meeting, bring him with you. I always used to forget about that and I would have these incredible encounters and then walk away and forget God. And actually I've been reminded lately that it's all about remembering to bring him with me wherever I go, no matter where I go, whether I'm in the kitchen or the bathroom or the garden. I mean, those are the only places we can go at the moment. But wherever I am, I'm trying to host the presence of God and I can feel him resting on me more and more. And that's my heart for you guys. And that's what I want to share with you. I just pray that God would bless you right now, even as you're sitting watching this. I just want to invite you even now just to open your heart um, and just say, God, I welcome your presence and help me become a host of your presence and that you would find a tent of meeting and that you would find a place where God can dwell with you, even in this time of difficulty, even in the time of in the midst of panic and fear. Let the presence of God be your priority on your agenda. Let that form you. Don't let the news form you. Don't let the situations form you. Let the presence of God form you. And I promise you, you'll begin to walk into measures of grace where you'll pick up on the presence of God in everyday life. And he always wants to encounter you no matter where you are. Don't believe anything else and don't live less than that. So I just want to encounter, uh, uh, encourage you and bless you in your encounters with God. Um, and share this with your cell groups and with your church groups when you meet in your houses. Share this all on Zoom. On Zoom, share this with people wherever you go um, around your journey and share it and walk together in growing in this. And I promise you, you'll see a, a great release and breakthrough um, as, you, as you walk in this. So blessings. We love you from Al Shaddai. And I hope it's a great time for you to encounter the presence of God.